start everyone's still in the same good good health tracking in the right direction yeah all good so far um we had a very light session today and uh so everyone's good and uh hopefully the same can be said tomorrow morning and then secondly, I, I'm curious, you know, talking to some other teams around the league uh, who have expectations, who have something kind of surrounding uh, what their playoff run, quote unquote, should be. Uh, and the idea of pressure, you know, Giannis said he thinks it's a good thing because it's a sign of respect. I'm wondering if, if that same mentality could be applied here. As far as facing pressure? Yeah, as opposed to as a, a, having pressure and then using that potentially as opposed to being something that's crushing and something that's like, well, that's a sign of a, yeah. what we want. We don't want to be looked over. We want to be respected and have that pressure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, basketball, sports, professional sports, but any level is about pressure. It's about playing with pressure, embracing pressure, enjoying pressure. That's why everyone should be excited for the playoffs because – you have pressure and there's real consequences and that's what makes it fun. That's why you put in the extra reps all the time. So, you know, they, some people deal with it better than others, but the idea is that this is this is what we all do this for, is to face pressure and to, to do it when it really counts, you know? It's nice to do it in the regular season. It's nice in pressure moments in the regular season to succeed, but it's it's the most rewarding and the, and the biggest challenge is doing it in the playoffs when it really matters. And you, and that's, you know, I think is, is, is the carrot, is the bonus of playing in the playoffs, is that you get to face that pressure and you get to try to overcome it. And that's exciting. And that's, you know, what our, what our group is excited for and, and is looking forward to. Thank you. Ryan Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Steve. Um, this is twofold. I believe I understood Sean to say he didn't think that uh, James would have any minutes limits. I mean, beyond whatever the norm would be. I'm trying to confirm, is that accurate? Is he essentially good to go as normal? And second, just how much work have you been able to get in with the big three and Joe, since he's been out, and Blake, since I don't believe they played together at all? Yeah, uh, James is healthy, so he, you know, there's no restriction um, on him. You know, I mean, it's it's uh, we, we got a couple days practice, um, you know, one where we actually went live uh, one of the days Joe did not participate, but um, yesterday they did. So, you know, everyone got one session in and um, and everyone but Joe got two sessions in. So um, that was great. You know, like it's, it's not it's probably not going to change the world, but uh, it's better than nothing. And uh, we got some reps. We got a week to prepare and, and to recover from what was a very difficult season. So um, it was a positive week and we look forward to getting going. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Steve, I saw a chart uh, yesterday that said that if you guys were to go on and and win the title, uh, that the big three, having played only eight games together in 208 total minutes, compared to other similar groupings of star players, that would be the fewest ever for anyone in NBA championship history. So how daunting a challenge is that to you guys uh does anybody think about it much and and what obstacles do you see to trying to build chemistry as you go through the playoffs yeah i i think you're right someone said to me yesterday they've played uh the amount of minutes they've been on the floor together is shorter than the irishman so it's like uh you know that's just what it is we're uh that's our gap. I keep saying it. Uh, we know it. We accept it. We recognize it. We don't have the luxury one, you know, of a full season together, let alone, you know, most of our competitors are running this back for year two, three, four, five. So we, we, we're not going to have that. And uh, it's uh, it's what we accept. It's what we understand. We can't control that. What can we control? So we just try to continue to build every day, to work every day, to to seek those things, competitive spirit, connectivity, and the cohesion is something that's going to have to come in time. Now, how can we be good enough to survive until it becomes, you know, more well-rounded? Uh, that's that's as much a challenge as anything. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. It's the, because Joe was coming back from that injury and you said he, he was the session this week, do you expect any restrictions on him tomorrow or he should be able to uh, be a full go as well? I, he should be a full go. Um, you know, it's not like he's had a ton of time out where conditioning should be a major issue, but uh, so he's more or less uh, ready to go. 
Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, got two matchup-based questions for you. Uh, one, Marcus Smart just seems to be like such a variable for that team. When he plays well, that team plays well, and he makes a lot of plays that don't necessarily reflect on the box score. I'm wondering how you combat or game plan for a guy that, that makes so many plays like that. Well, I mean, that's that's what he does. You know, he's a great defender. He covers a lot of holes at that end of the floor, and he's also, uh, you know, not afraid offensively. Um, so, you know, he, he can be a wild card offensively uh, as that second or third scorer, um, but defensively we all know his resume. Um, so he, he does a lot of things for them, and, uh, he, you know, he... Uh, you know, I don't know that we necessarily game plan for that. Uh, it's how, how, you know, how t we want to play well. Uh, we want to be sharp. We want to handle what we handle, what we do well. Um, you know, I, I, you know, he's the type of player that it's not so much about the game plan. It's about trying to limit his effect uh, just by us being sharp, us being, you know, solid with our defense at that end and, and being smart offensively. Um, so that he can't have as big an impact as he's potentially or capable of having. Yeah, sure. And then, and then second, just what have you seen from Kemba this season? And are you, are you looking forward to this kind of matchup between Kyrie and Kemba, two of the best point guards in the league right now? Yeah, I mean, Kemba's, uh, you know, a great point guard and a, and a great human being, great leader and, and piece of their team. So, um, you know, we know how capable he is. And, uh you know, we have a great point guard as well, and so there, it's going to be uh, there'll be a lot of talent on display. It'll be a fun series. Last question, Tom Dow, BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Steve. The, the Celtics were routinely, you know, top five in defense the last couple of years. This year, they were more middle of the pack. I mean, what's your impression of what's traditionally made them strong on that end, and if there's any difference this year, whether it's personnel or, or whatever? Well, I mean, if I had to, you know, kind of make an excuse or defend them in a sense it, it's just been a crazy year you know they've had COVID situations and injuries guys in and out of the lineup so it's probably hard to be consistent um that doesn't mean that they're not a top five or top 10 defense potentially uh it just means over the course of this year it didn't they you know didn't end up like that so um i think that's the biggest thing and so you know they this is a team that's that's played together for three or four years they you know, they run their system, they're well coached, they run their defensive schemes well. And uh, through that consistency, I think you see their output. And, you know, so we're, we'll, we'll have to be sharp. We can't just roll out there and, and put points on the board. We're going to have to be very sharp and, you know, play with great energy and also connectivity. Thanks for your time, Coach. Great. Thanks, everybody.